welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Well, just five days remain till the, till the Saints open a new season at Atlanta. So here with me in studio today is Saints columnist Larry Holder. Well, Larry, the final roster is set, and uh, one thing that kind of stuck out, uh, I guess, really to all of us, was that their the Saints cut both their kickers, Shane Graham and Derek Dimke. But we just saw that Mickey Loomis said that there would be a new kicker uh, by the end of the day. Right. Right. And so this obviously the roster is not set. Yeah. Because you need a, there's, there's no roster spot for the right. kicker. And I'll say this. Uh, they could go in a different dire bunch of different directions here. Right. Could they maybe bring back Derek Demke or Shane Graham and put someone on injured reserve? Uh, maybe. Could mm -hmm. they go out and get someone else? Maybe. But I think uh, if they do go in a different direction, it, it certainly lends to Sean Payton's theory and the Saints' theory uh, of seeing what they see and judging that on in front of them, not worrying about history, not worrying about age, not worrying about experience, mm -hmm. uh, because if they didn't like either kicker, uh, they went and go in a different direction. I think that's a smart move because if you don't trust them, wh why keep one over the other if you're still looking? So, uh, and they knew some veteran free agents were going to be on the market, and that's they they could be doing that. But I, I guess we'll find out uh, at some point today, and they'll go into practice tomorrow with a new kicker or uh, an old kicker that we. we we already know, so right. I'm curious yeah. to see how they how they handle this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Connor Barth from Tampa Bay was one name that was released. Uh, so again, we'll see if they go with with a veteran or maybe somebody younger. But uh, Larry, also uh, some news about Junior Gallette that actually w wasn't. You uh, talked with Junior. Uh, he A report surfaced that he received a contract extension uh, from the Saints, but actually that's not what happened. Right, right. and he said he was as surprised as anyone else. No. But the thing is with Junior Gallette, his contract is going to hover over him this season. And that's because if he hits 12 12 sacks and 60% of the snaps on defense, he can become an unrestricted free agent. And so uh, I know that is something he's looking forward to because obviously if you put together back-to-back -back 12 sacks or, or 12 plus sack right. seasons because he could have even more this year, if you do that, you're going to be making huge bucks. Mm -hmm. And the big thing is next offseason, can the Saints afford Junior Gallette? and Cam Jordan because even though he, he has the fifth year extension and he is under contract through the end of next season as well, how do you deal with both of these guys who are going to be both paid well on the open market? Uh, I'm curious to see how this works, but again, no contract extension right now for Junior Gillette, uh, and he was as surprised as anyone that right. the report came out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and actually, check, yeah, when I talked with him, message. when I talked with him, he, yeah. he, I think I was the one to break the news mm -hmm. that there was news about him, and he said, uh, "No, no, not, not the case. There's actually not, yeah. not, not the case." Because if, here's the thing: if he would have taken an offer from the Saints right now, uh, it probably would have been a lesser offer. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's looking to maximize his value. And if he, again, if he's able to opt out after this year. His value will be, be sky looking high. At some big bucks. Absolutely. <laughs> well, good to know that uh, we've confirmed that he has not received an extension. Well, Larry, we'll talk to you soon. A lot of questions going into week one. We'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> and up next is Saints trivia. Stay tuned. In the fraction of time we spend driving in reverse, about half a million accidents occur each year, which is why the Infiniti QX60 has world's first safety technology available, like backup collision intervention, which can break even before you do, to help keep everyone safe. Welcome back. The NFL has had its share of sibling place kickers, so let's get to this week's trivia question. In the 1970s, the Saints and Falcons each featured one half of a sibling kicking pair. What kicking family was that? Well, think it over and send your answers by Thursday to rwhitaker at nola.com for a chance to win a Saints prize. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.